Welcome back, Desk Poppers. I'm here joined with Angel. We are missing one person. My boy Daniel couldn't be here today. He had some family emergency. He will not be with us this week. I just air out his laundry, huh? Yeah. No, <laughs> just, you know, just, you know, he can't be here with us. I hope you're doing okay. Daniel, we miss you. Uh, we can't you. wait to see you next week for Guardians, the finale of Andor, and Ooh. a lot of other movies that we might watch. Yeah, everything. Oh, Glass right. Onion. Oh, Glass Onion. Are we going to be watching Glass Onion? Of course we're going to be watching Glass Onion. If you, I've seen Knives Out. I don't know about you. I'm, I'm down. It comes out in theaters early. So it comes out next week and then on Netflix in December. So you let me know if you want to go theaters. I'm down. But today we're going to be talking about Andor episode 11. Episode 11. Don't remind me of the name. It's uh, Daughter of... Daughter of Ferrix. Daughter, daughters of Ferrix. You're daughter, right. Yeah, daughter daughters of Ferrix. What did you think about, about this episode? It was the, a the lot. Penul- the penultimate episode. I think it sets up the finale good. I think it was a slow paced episode. You know, not a lot of action, but it sets up what we were talking about. All the pieces on the chessboard are finally coming together. Yeah. The episode starts off with Andor and Melchi. By, by themselves. By themselves. Which is really weird because for me, when the episode ended uh, one way out, you see a bunch of people swimming out right yeah. you see this image it just ends up with them two like you would you would think that more they would people, all stick together yeah like more in numbers right yeah. i feel like if i were to be with i was with a big group i'd want to stick with them to some degree you know at least to the shore like, there's no way everybody swam a different, <laughs> different yeah direction. everybody's like okay everybody split up right now no man we're all like imagine splitting up in the middle of the ocean <laughs> <laughs> that'd be dangerous i would rather like, just swim with the crowd why wouldn't you just all swim to the to the cliff the shore unless you think being in a big group is easier to be seen i don't it know if that makes sense it like might be. you see a whole bunch of prisoners just running together well that playing. and we did talk about the not not being able to swim a lot of people might have just not even made it but they talked at the <laughs> end of the episode they were like do you think more people made it so obviously they know that people may at least made it to the cliff no they said do you know do you think if people made it like they know people made it to the water but they don't know if they made it anywhere else but i think i think it's very telling that we, we talked about that we're like it's better to just die falling into the water because remember we talked about the yeah. impact it's just the impact alone killing you uh, i think it's very telling that kino we didn't see even like a mention of kino this no, episode so i think all. that sets him up for season two 100 yeah, percent. there's there's I no way so. you kill andy circus off screen off screen no no they killed marva off screen but yeah. you don't kill andy circus off screen well she kind of was already bad in what was it, like two or three episodes ago where her health was it looked like it was deteriorating she looked bad. well we get that cool shot that so instead of seeing it through like a human we see it through the droid and yeah. you see the fluid is it supposed to like be like people cr- like him crying i think so i think that's what they were trying to like imply imply that like the, the robot was sad man he was i felt sorry for him i was like this is the saddest little droid in all the galaxy right now yeah even sadder than Cyril yeah <laughs> no but this is yeah, like a no, sad yeah. where I actually feel bad for like, him and I, and I want him to you know get out ahead because uh he's sitting there and he goes oh I'm waiting for Marva it's really sad too because the guy uh what's his name he was he kept telling him I can't leave you by yourself and I'm like bro it's a droid it's like a droid, yeah. is the droid gonna commit suicide like, <laughs> like <laughs> well, you that, can't just rebuild him well I don't think the droid understands death as no because well, like. yeah. he because the guy was like how do we tell him <laughs> how do we tell him <laughs> how do we tell him <laughs> how do we break the and then he was like one night please stay one night and I was like oh that poor oh, little droid man I know it was really sad we see like Melshi and Andor on the cliff and they're yeah. holding off and for they're, just, life. they're just yeah they're just hanging on and you see the ship pass by this this goes back to like I see a lot on Twitter where people are saying that andor is not a leader but he is a good motivator he did that in rogue one he did that like a couple episodes back when they were doing the prison break like he might not be the leader de facto leader but he knows how to bring people together motivate yeah he's a good motivator and he kept telling them they're leaving how long do you think they were on that cliff hours hours I was hours. Gonna say hours and i'm it surprised he hours. held up yeah like you must have incredible upper body strength because <laughs> like, i would not last a no, minute I, i'm lasting i think i'm lasting a minute and i'm either sneezing or i'm farting or something and i'm falling off the cliff <laughs> they're just, uh, the, the they're just walking by and they hear a fart and they're like <laughs> you, you hear a fart and then a thud <laughs> 10 seconds later after because you couldn't make it i mean it depends too i mean i look if it's just uncomfortable and not endurance i could probably hold on for like an like a couple hours if it's just if if you have a good like hold with your foot and you just, you're just yeah as long as no rocks come loose i think yeah. you should be fine I, like yeah it's the gonna hurt not, gonna, the cliff's not gonna move no no all you have to i think i think all you have to worry about is just being uncomfortable which i can deal with uncomfortable i just can't deal with like i'm actually hanging yeah and i think i, I think they were just being uncomfortable and then they see a way out they see the 
the ship and who who's who's the first one to say let's just go for it melshi melshi is just like fuck it well because he's like what kind of ship is that and then and i was like oh that's kind of old i don't know if i can fly it did he again <laughs> again and he he does fly it he, motherfucker. He can't. well then they run to the ship well melshi's like let's go for it like yeah. full send and and they're like what no like yeah he's like they, they're not gonna catch us and by the time andor tries to like counter argue like melshi just like booked it and at that point you have to go with him right you have to yeah like, like you yeah. can't just leave him high and dry and I, it's funny because i was i was wondering why those aliens were staring at him i was like they're not gonna chase after them but they had the trap set up yeah and they <laughs> get caught and at that point i don't i didn't know what i was thinking at that point because you kind of write yourself into a corner of like what happens next and if anybody really understands what happened please let me know because i just do not get why they they gotta let go <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand that either. Because they were like, it's like a thousand or six thousand per head or whatever. And because, it, I mean, everybody knows all the prisoners about at this yeah. point that, you know. So they're just looking for prisoners. Yeah. Like not specifically for the, for Andor and Melshi, but. And I mean, they looked in, surprised too that they got let go. Yeah, I think I think they thought they were going to be taken away somewhere. Because that's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, oh, they got caught. Like Now what? Now what? Like, <laughs> yeah, where are they going? Back to prison. And now we got another <laughs> prison arc for the, yeah. uh, you know? for the finale. Well, let's just go through Andor's story at this point. Well, Andor makes it back to the money. I'm surprised the money's there. Yeah. How long were they at prison? Like two, three months? I think it was like three months. Uh, I'll give them a good three months in prison. So yeah. the money lasted there three months. When nobody touched On top of the shower. Yeah. You're telling me not one tall motherfucker rented that room out. You're telling me not somebody was... Well, first of all, nobody cleaned the room, apparently. Cause yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining it's like an Airbnb, right? Yeah. Like you go through, you clean it, and someone's going to stumble upon yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it seems like people are in and out of in that. In and out, room. yeah. So I'm assuming it's like an Airbnb and they don't got like cleaning service. Yeah. Like, what is, what is it? Imagine if you found that kind of money. Well, he opens it and well, there's the money, but the book's right there too, right? Yeah. And it has a little, I didn't know it had a voice because it's a computer, right? Like, yeah, it it's the like little a voice. little, yeah, a little robot. I forgot what the voice was saying. Do you think that's the manifesto? Yeah, that is a ma- that that's, yeah, that's manifesto. manifesto yeah. yeah, and I think he still has to read it. I thought he was going to read it in prison. Yeah, but apparently not. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can bring things to prison. I know, not but that like, prison, at least. I mean, I don't know. They were able to orchestrate a no, but like bring like things from the outside world. Oh, from the outside world. Yeah, him and Mel should get a really cute like sent off. I I guess they're not going to stay together. No, which they I, should. I thought they were going. I maybe they run. I think not. Maybe, but they will run into each other season two. I mean, uh, they have to, man. They're like, they're part of Rogue One, you know? Yeah. They have to. Melshi's the whole thing was that one of us has to survive to like tell people about the bad things that happened to them in that prison and yeah. what's what's happening, you yeah. know? But in my mind, I'm like, yeah, but like, you've never watched Scooby Doo? You never split up, my boy. <laughs> you never split you never up. Split yeah. up. Oh, you never watch a scary movie? Don't split up. That's like, like yeah. there's strength That's in numbers. That's mistake number one. Mistake number one. He splits up. <laughs> well, that reminds me of the, uh, the classic meme from yeah. Planet of the Apes. Ape alone <laughs> week. What? Ape together strong. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ape together strong. Then he, yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> they are. I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking, man. But that pretty much ends. And well, Andor and Melshi's story. But Andor's story. You know what's funny is that everybody knows what happened to Andor's mom, except, except for that. Andor. The first people that we see that get the news is Val, right? Uh, Val and I don't know the other girl's name. Well, her girlfriend, right? No, oh, this is Bix. It. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Bix is not the girlfriend. Uh, Val. Oh, oh, Val. Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking about Andor. She and the spy. Because I, th- I mean, he, he's working for the Empire, but he's also like doing what she's doing, where they're yeah. both like working in Ferrix, trying to figure out when Andor's gonna come home. So Andor calls Ferrix. Well, way after though, at the end. Oh yeah, way talking after. about like right now, like everybody, oh, everybody okay, setting yeah, yeah. up shop. Everybody's like, oh, Andor's gonna come. Andor, like Andor has to come. And Andor, dude, if Andor didn't even know Chrissy that prison break, they would have just been waiting there for him. Yeah, for a ghost, pretty much, because they had no idea. They're just assuming that he's gonna find out about the death. Yeah, they think he, they don't. I don't think they know he's still in prison. Like, they just assume he's out there somewhere. They just got really lucky that Andor called. What was Deidre doing this whole time? Uh, she was with Bix. No, no, no. She wasn't with Bix. She's with the Empire. And oh, she, she got was. She gets a call. Oh, right. And they're like, oh, they want permits. For and the, we're not going to give funeral. it to them. Yeah. And she's like, what? You fucking pendejos. Yeah. Give it to them, bro. You can make it make it a festival. Because yeah, you want a, people like, to Make it an event. Make it an event. Because you want Andor to show up. Yeah. And if you don't, yeah, if you don't give it to him, he's not going to show up. And, you know, you want yeah, She's smart. Show. She's smart for that. Like, I don't know what the, what the other guys were thinking. No, man. They were the guys that try too hard at work. Oh, we're not giving them the permit. I'm like, bro. We're doing things by the book. I'm like, bro. That doesn't always work. No, that doesn't 
<laughs> give them permit. Give give them the little uh, festival and see see what fireworks show up. Dedra is getting her chess pieces in in Motion. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just getting her, her stuff in place. And we go to uh, the saddest man in the universe. <laughs> my boy Cyril. Oh you, my god. You know so his dad, mom wakes him up. She's like, "You got a call." The Scottish guy. The Scottish guy. Yeah. He's still he's still he's still about the cause. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cause him too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Come on. He's like, hey, boss. I'm like, boss. You don't gotta call him yeah. boss. I don't know if he calls him boss, but in my mind, he's like, hey, boss, how you doing? Told me if you want any news about Andor. I got you. Even though it's been months at this yeah. point. <laughs> months. It has been three, four. Like three months we said, yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm like, well, yeah. Well, since he went prison, to prison. Yeah, since prison. It's probably been like four or five since, yeah, yeah. since the whole debacle in yeah. Ferrix where they messed up egregiously. Is that a word? I think so. We'll go with it. We'll if it's not a word, it. let us know down below. Let us know. <laughs> he gets a call and he's like, you know, the call's cutting in and out. And mm-hmm. you can tell as that scene progresses, Cyril gets more and more desperate. Yeah. He's like, Andor, you said you had news about Andor. <laughs> And, and then he, he like starts smashing the TV and well not smashing but smacking it. And he's trying to tell him and Zero's just like going crazy, like, just tell me the news just about him, Andor. Yeah. Where is he? Do you know where he's at? And he's like, No, it's even better. I'm like, I don't think it's better. But like his <laughs> mom died. Yeah. And then he's like, Funeral? Yeah, funeral. When? What time? Barracks. He might be there, he might not. We don't know, but it's a worth a shot. And you know what? My boy's so down bad. You know what he does? He steals his mom's credit card. <laughs> Everybody on Twitter was talking about it. Oh, yeah, so he stole his mom's credit card my boy has a job my boy lives with his parents and you told me he didn't save enough money to go to ferrix <laughs> come on boy come on what are we doing you don't got a credit card for yourself so has the empire not paid you yet yeah he's, he's behind <laughs> dude do you think his mom charges him rent yeah with the way she is with him yeah no she probably makes him pay most of it no i feel like it could also be the opposite where she's just babying him no because she she's no, you're right she's straight mean, up like even at it. the even at the end of the call she's like well at least i hung up on you so i can go to sleep now <laughs> and Dude, like, yeah oh. and she was like you're still going on about andor yeah. you're still worried about that shit let it go and we've been saying let it yeah, go the, like, since it the go. beginning since like episode two so I, th- I think he's gonna drag deidre into it He's going to be like, Deidre, I found out news about Andor. Blah, blah, blah. And she's going to be like, yeah, I already know. Like, No, I think it's going to be even worse than that. I think, think it's so? going to be a surprise. I think he, he's going to be at Ferrix. Deidre's going to be in Ferrix. Have you seen the Umbrella Academy meme? The one, yeah. the Where what, they're like, like looking at each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. I think it's going to be that meme where they're like, like they're just looking at each other. Like Deidre's like, what the hell? What, did, what are you doing here? And and, like, what are you doing here? And he's like, Andor, <laughs> he's here. <laughs> or something. I don't yeah, know. But I, I can see that. Yeah, I can see Cyril finding Andor first. Yeah, like, like we said remember that was our prediction and he's gonna get his ass whooped i think he's i think deidre goes down with him i think he's gonna drag her down with him i think deidre makes it to season two you think so i think she's gonna be the bad for season two i think she's gonna get humiliated and she's gonna come back because somebody has to be the the villain for season two that's true i mean it could be saw oh i didn't even think about that do you want to talk about saw right now well, we can talk about him here in a bit, but I th- I think Deidre is going to get caught in the crossfire with Cyril. Hey, you heard it here. We got, I think she makes it. I think. I, I don't think, died. I don't think she makes it. Oh, man. I, she's smart enough to make it, but Cyril is stupid enough to. People uh, are dying this episode. Last <laughs> yeah. episode, people yeah, died. Well, Cyril for one. Yeah, it's okay. We're definitely <laughs> Cyril dying. I think, I think Deidre the makes over it. The over-under on Cyril. <laughs> I think if anybody's going to die, it's Luthen. Luthen? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Let's talk yeah. about Bix. I don't think she's surviving either. No. She looks bad. She, she looks, looks worse than Marva. Yeah. I don't know. The makeup, whatever, like they made it look convincing because she looked like she was out of it. Yeah. And at that point, lie. I don't, she doesn't have information. She I, doesn't. Right? She doesn't. She doesn't no. know where Andor's because at. She the, doesn't. the guy interrogating her, he's like, no, you better tell me the truth because I know the truth. He doesn't know the truth. Though. But he doesn't. He doesn't. Because so Luthen said only one person knows what he looks like, right? Yeah. Because not even the guy that saw was going to go help out knows what he looks no. like, right? Like, they've been in the same room, but he doesn't know that's him. Right? Yeah. That's what pretty much he said. Look, here's the thing, right? When you When you torture somebody like that, that bad, at some point, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. And you get confirmation bias. And I don't know why Bix hasn't done that. Because you just tell them what they want to hear. I think Bix Maybe is just it's not so, true. I think she's just mentally so broken that she doesn't even know what yeah, she's doing. So at. that's what I don't so don't understand what the Empire is like trying to break her. Bro, you need like information. Like, move on to somebody else. Yeah, move on. Kill her. If you're gonna kill a killer, if not, then like I guess you're just doing yeah. this for fun for uh <laughs> like, you know, just torturing people. What do you think about Luthen, his little escape? I thought that was pretty cool. Was that oh wow. Well, I, I thought it was really nice. I, I saw on Twitter that he planned it. He was letting them use that little tractor beam so then he can destroy it with the little projectiles that he had. Yeah, it was like but, little bombs or whatever. I mean, it shows how smart he is. Yeah, I think he was. I think he was ready for he played them. that he played moment them. that he would get caught. Well, not caught, but like 
I, you know, like asked, in the like, process hey, of yeah, yeah. being caught. I think he, he was ready for that. He had it all planned and he played it perfectly. Yeah, he played it perfectly. Because even they said it, they're like clearance codes, check out and everything. Should we let him go? And the guy in charge was like, no, let's make an example. Yeah, of this. Let's board it. He's I like, s- we can use the practice. I saw something on Twitter, too, that said that Luthen used the Empire's strong fist, strong clasp on the metaphor thing. Uh, uh, he used it against them because he knew they were going to use too much power. And he used that against them to like destroy their ship or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, Luthen. He's always a step ahead. One step ahead. Uh, but I don't think it'll be one step ahead next episode. No? No. Uh, well, Luthen's also going because he also knows he got it from Val that about the funeral? that, that Marvin's yeah. dead. And he's like, okay, cool. And I think he's going to go. Val's going to go. Let's talk about uh, Val and that girl. Uh, Luthen's her helper. Helper. Oh. Uh, they, are they uh, lovers? So, so she goes to the store first and she's like, I'm looking for Luthen. And the girl running the store is still like in character. She's like, well, she's smart, dude. She's the she's only smart. one yeah. out of Luthen, everybody that she doesn't break the rules. And when you're in the rebellion like that, you should not break the rules. No. That's one time that you should follow every rule that you have so that way you don't get caught. Also, Daniel brought up shout out to my boy Daniel. There's a Mayan circle calendar where they're talking. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I didn't notice either, either man. Daniel told me like five times before I got it. <laughs> So shout out huh. to my boy Daniel. And hey, he's actually coming in right now. We have oh yeah. <laughs> Soundboard. Uh, no. Uh we miss you. But everybody was saying they were giving up lover vibes. I didn't get that. No. I dude, I got, I got I saw it all over Twitter and I was like, what are you guys watching? Yeah, man? are we watching the same shit? I, I got, got sister vibes. I got that they want Luthan's approval. They're both fighting for Luthan's approval. Yeah. Because she even said it. She's like, make sure he knows that I'm the one that got him the information. Yeah. That to me makes it sound like, oh, they're fighting for Luthan's approval. So obviously they're related somehow. I still think Luthen's a dad and they're both sisters. That's my, if that's not the case, I don't know what, it, you know, like, yeah. I, I don't know what else it could be. And then Val goes visit Mon Mothma, his, her, her actual cousin that we know. Yeah. She goes and visits her and they, they're, they're still talking about the money. Yeah. They're talking about the money. They're talking about her daughter because her daughter gets more prominent uh, screen time. Of- I still think the daughter betrays her. Well, do you think she's going to find out about the proposal? Yeah, I think she, I was going to I was gonna bring that up. I think she'll find out, find out about the proposal and it's going to be a misunderstanding. Kind of like we talked about because Mon doesn't want her daughter like to get like she doesn't want an arranged marriage, but she's like, oh, that's kind of like the only way. But so now that I saw this episode and I see that daughter does like the traditions, I think she's going to want the arranged marriage. And she's going to find out that Mon Mothma doesn't want it. No, yeah, yeah, doesn't. And she's the one that said no. Yeah. So she's like, Mom, like, why did he say no to this? Like, well, that's what we're saying. It's, I think it's still, it's still going to be yeah. a misunderstanding. I can see it. And her daughter's going to turn on her. Let's get to the uh, end of this episode. Yeah, with Saw and Luthen. I thought that was incredible. Yeah. So we get to, I think this is the best scene in the episode is Luthen and Saw. I think so, too. So Saw tells him, I'm down. Let's do it. I'll help out your boy. But you have to give me everything that I want. Yeah. With the pilots and everything. And Luthen backtracks. Well, they're, they're arguing, right? At first, because well, because he backtracks. He's like, "No, nah, don't worry about it. You don't. You don't gotta worry about it. Yeah. You, you don't have to go help." And he's like, "What the fuck? Why are you like? I thought you wanted this." Yeah. And he straight up tells him, which I mean, I like the um, honesty. He's like, "I can't." risk going in there for him because then he's pretty much dead yeah yeah he pretty much tells him that he knows he's gonna die and saw calls him out he's like you're, you're either working for the empire you have somebody who works for the empire or i don't know if there was a third option but he pretty much calls him out on it he's like yeah. the only way you know this information is you got your hands dirty so what is it and luthan's still playing his cards close to close his bro because even saw tells him like who is it tell me who it is do you you have like spies everywhere my favorite line of the whole thing he's like you you probably even have spies here and luthan just points at this random, random guy <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like what what are you saying fuck me for <laughs> like <laughs> Like, I was like, I swear it wasn't me. That guy's probably terrified of Saw. Yeah, no, I would be too, man. <laughs> Saw's a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, that was dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, he's lying to you, boss, boss, boss. I would never, I would never, I would never. never do that to you, my boy. Give me a polygraph test yeah, right, right now. now. <laughs> but he was scared for his life. I would, yeah, yeah. But well, because Saw's the type of guy like Andor, he probably would have just pulled out his blaster and ended the yeah. dude right there. Yeah, just for that. Yeah, just with, like, with no like <laughs> no evidence, context, no, no evidence. Yeah, no evidence, no nothing. He's like, well. If Luthen said it, yeah, Luthen can't trust him out. <laughs> but like, I just, it's just a great and then line. Luthen pulls the gun on him. I was like, oh, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Like, he's about it, bro. Luthen makes a good argument because he tells him, like, look, bro, at the end of the day, if they die, they die. 
but we still get our contact in the empire which is worth a lot more to to everybody to this whole cause he's he's worth more than like a random whatever whatever like i forgot random, his name uh, but spy. carol is his name carol carol uh, K- carol i think something like that he is not worth what that spy is worth that we saw last yeah. episode saw comes around He's like, yeah, you're right. You know, we need we need to work together. Yeah. So I, I'm sorry, I forgot though. Do you know where they end it? The episode? Yeah. Yeah, with the call, the phone call, where Andor calls. No, Barry. I meant where Saw and Luthen oh, ends. Oh, it. oh. <laughs> I thought you meant the episode. No, I forgot if they like they agreed on. Just, they agreed on it. Yeah. They just leave. Because that's when he pulls be. his gun on them. Or yeah. the blaster, and he's like, "Are we gonna do this or not?" Yeah. So I was like, "Well, if it's for the greater cause, I yeah, guess." Yeah, it's so. great. Okay, yeah, that's where they ended. Great. Now let's talk about that ending. He gets the call. He's like, "Hey." Well, no, Andor calls. No, Andor coming. Okay. Yeah, but the he guy calls. Oh yeah, yeah, he calls <laughs> Ferrix. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Though. Wanting to talk to Marva tomorrow. And he's so cute, bro. He he's like, "Hey, tell Marva that she would be proud of me. He's a rebel, and he like he made it." Yeah, and then the guy answers the calls like, "What do you mean?" Like, oh man, it's so heartbreaking. He's like, "Did you not hear?" He's like. You're You're what? Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead, bro. And yeah, he like is processing it, hangs up the phone, and Mel she asks him like, "Hey, what? What's up? Like, what's what's wrong?" He doesn't even tell Mel she. He doesn't even tell him. I think he's he's in shock. And I, yeah, I don't think he wants to tell him because he doesn't want to change his plans. We think what Andor is definitely going to Ferrix. He's going to Ferrix. Dude, it's gonna be like a fifty-minute episode. Do we start off right away at Ferrix? I think so. Yeah, we don't even waste time with the traveling to Ferrix. Yeah, like no, that, no, that's not no important. side quest, no nothing. We're, no I think we're just quest. gonna get to the thick of it, and everybody's gonna be crashing, like everything, all the Ferrix, moving parts. Everything is gonna. I think Luthen's gonna get found out. Deirdre's definitely gonna see who Luthen is. I think everything comes out. Cyril's gonna die. Cyril's dying, baby. <laughs> oh my god, if we don't see it. I'm gonna be pissed. I yeah. hope the droid makes it. I hope the droid. I hope Andor makes it. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does have another season coming out yeah <laughs> well guys thank you very much for watching this episode 11 recap the yeah. daughters of Ferrix. The daughter of Ferrix. we have the grand finale coming out next week we're really excited about it so make sure you guys follow to uh catch those episodes and just remember we have uh more shows coming out let us know what you guys want us to watch put it in the comments below because we definitely need new episodes to watch but make sure you give us a like share with a friend yeah and let us know what you guys think of andor uh where does it rank among your star wars tv shows a a let us know we'll see see you guys in the next one adios